Hi friends, this is Leslie. I'm continuing on my never ending story diorama series today. I have already made Morla the Ancient One and we're gonna start today by making Artex and then we'll have a part two where we make the Swamp of Sadness with Artex and Atreyu. Guys, we have our Artex armature ready to go. He, I'm only gonna sculpt his top half. The, the bottom half will be sitting in mud. So he's gonna be cut off somewhere around here. If I don't like how he's turning out, I have a backup plan for another horse. So this is my, going to be my best attempt at sculpting a horse. I've never sculpted a horse before. Let's get started. I don't know. Where do I want to start? Head? Let's go with head because if the head's not where I want it to be, then the rest of it's going to look funny. Just slapping some bacon bond on here. I'm nervous, guys. I'm going to give it a shot. Okay. Let's see. Let's just go for it. Not only do I like to have the, my reference photos on the computer, I always like to have a paper copy in hand. Plus, this was giving me the general idea of how big I wanted Artex to be in my diorama. Now I'm just deciding where I want to place his ears. To make my horse ear, what I did is I made this shape, kind of a exaggerated, funny looking triangle. And I'm just going to, I don't need much clay, and I'm gonna basically fold it over my little triangle. This is kind of how I made the bunny ears in my burrow. Cut off any extra Now I got a variety of horse ears. I just got to pick out the favorite ones I want, like the most. I think I like these guys the best. Remember, this part is under the swamp. So guys, I wanted to show you my process here. This is trial and error. I am figuring out how to make this horse as I go. So I am building upon the horse and then I'm removing parts. I, I even hacked right into the tinfoil armature because I thought the nose was too wide or from top to bottom. So I took some of that tinfoil out, out of there, clipped some of that wire out of there, and then I added more clay. And this is future Leslie. So I'm really happy with how he turned out. So I just wanted to show you guys that just work through it work through your problems and you'll get there and it's okay to make mistakes with clay clay is an easy 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 medium to work with you make a mistake you fix it you remove the clay if you bake it you sand it down you can drummel things off you can add clay you can change it up as you go so don't be afraid to hack into your project like I am. Don't be afraid to change things. All right, here's a horse. I got to shape his face, elongate this area, I believe. I'm gonna be working on his eyes next. I have these pre-made little glass eyes. They are blue. I originally wanted the horse to have blue eyes, but you hardly see the color when it's at the end. I also, because the pupil of the horse isn't round, I did take the pen and kind of elongate the pupil a little bit. It's not a detail you end up seeing, but it made me feel good. I'm back to shaping up his face. Right now he kind of looks like the donkey from Shrek. Excuse the blurriness, I think it, the camera's focusing on the tools rather than what I'm doing. Right now I'm sketching out an area where I want to add some muscles or some veins. I don't know what they're called on the horse or where they're exactly placed, but I like a little added detail and I'll do my best to make it look like something realistic. 
Artex is a fantasy horse. He's actually a talking horse. He does not talk in the movie, but in the book he does talk. All right, now he needs a spot for his tail. I need to add a little wire placement. That's not appropriate. I'm sorry, buddy. Oh, I think I actually wanted a little higher. Sorry again, buddy. Now I'm just kind of finishing up his shape with any muscles that I think he needs around his body. Again, it's really kind of throws me off because he looks so stocky with the short legs. But you got to visualize his legs are actually a lot longer. Now we're going to paint Artax. Artax is described as just small and spotted. So I'm going to take the look of Artex in the movie and go from there. So I'm gonna make whitish gray horse. We're gonna see where the colors take me. I'm just gonna start with a white base and paint everything white. So now that he's mostly white, I'm going to take the sponge tool and dab away at him. This sponge tool is great because not only does it give a little bit of texture, which almost appears to be fur-like, it also takes away those paint strokes. So if you're gonna use a sponge tool, make sure you do it while the paint's still wet or on your next layer of paint. But I love how the sponge tool is adding some more texture to him. This is just a smaller sponge dabbing tool so I can get around the face. You could also use a makeup sponge. Now adding a little black paint with a mini paintbrush just to get into those little nooks and crannies where there's a lot of shadow. And then I want his mouth and nose area to have a little bit of a darker color around that area. And then I will lighten those darker areas up with some gray tones. Cross clay. This stuff is... This pack I got is not great. Now I'm going to make Artex's saddle and his reins. And then this is going to go. He's a talking horse. He's not going to have the bite thing in his mouth because that would just be mean. All right, now we gotta add the lead where Atreyu is gonna be holding on to Artex. And we won't talk about Artex, no, no. We don't talk about, you know what, no. We won't talk about Artex, no, no. We don't talk about Artex, no, no. Right. I think I want to be able to take this off. So we're going to add some tinfoil there. So Atreyu is the native tribe of the land. He's not going to have a traditional saddle. I want him to have more of an organic leather saddle. Not even that fat. Half that fat. Let's see. He's going to have like a padded. And on that padded thing, he's just going to have a very organic piece of leather. I just kind of want it like it's kind of rough, something like that. But I feel like this padding needs to be even, even. Oopsie doopsie. And then he has this piece that's just kind of tattered. Alright. His leather would be from Purple Buffalo. So I feel like it has to have a purple tint, right? Agree? Let's see if we can get a purple tint. Yes, it's a purple buffalo, but it would be a purple brown. 
you wouldn't be like bright purple. Make it enough so when I make a tray, you will have a color match for the leather. Right, that first layer of paint for the saddle is drying. Now I'm gonna make some hair wefts for his mane. This is just white yarn. And I'm gonna wrap the yarn around these sticks. And next I'm going to take my pet grooming brush. Then I'm gonna comb out the yarn. This is just kind of a process. You're just gonna kind of get in the rhythm. Start at the ends first. You will lose a lot of yarn in the process. And you can just save that yarn for stuffing pillows or whatnot. You could also take that fluff and cut up in little bits and use it for flocking for your diorama. It makes great tree leaves or flowers or even snow. If you want that hair to be really smooth and shiny, you take a flat iron to it and smooth it right out. This is just a really basic, simple flat iron. It's actually advertised as a sealer for bags, like uh, food storage bags. That's how I found it on Amazon. I was looking for food storage sealers and this came across, but then I got it in the mail and it was said it was used for hair. It's so teeny. It works great for this. So once you have those pieces of yarn smooth as you want, trim them off your stick or whatever you have them tied to, place them on some non-stick parchment or plastic, and then you're going to glue the ends of them. I am just using regular Elmer's PVA glue, and then you're gonna glue them down to your non-stick surface and let those dry and set aside. And once they're dry, they'll be ready to place on your horse or your doll or whatever you're adding hair to. Now that the hair is dry, let's start adding it to the horse. And I'll be giving Artex a little haircut as we go. trimming up his mane, and then I'm going to make his tail by gluing some of this hair onto that wire and placing that nice hole I made in his backside. And trim off any wire that's not needed because I don't need the long wire on the end. This is just so I can attach the tail to the horse. So now I have Artex's saddle. So I want the saddle to look like it's well worn, been used a lot. So I'm adding some dry brushing here and there with some different colors, some highlights and some low lights. So some lighter colors just on the edges to just bring out some of the textures and some darker colors, basically where a tray has been sitting. Or That's a good saddle. Once that glue dries and the tail is all set, I will smooth out the tail a little bit. And I'm gonna call Artex finished. Thank you everybody for watching. Still have a long way to go. Stay tuned for part two where I recreate the infamous scene in the Swamps of Sadness with Atreyu and Artex. Let's check out the final results.